morning and rub my eyes Took me a second but I realized That I'm still the same man I was yesterday See I made a promise to myself To make a change and better myself But I don't feel any difference and that's a shame All I want is to be a better man Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you on a road trip to the stunning New Zealand South Island and sharing with you my passion for film photography. I brought with me two of my favourite cameras, the Hasselblad X-Pan and the Makina 67, one panoramic and one medium format camera. I brought two big Ziploc bags to avoid moisture and separate those exposed and unexposed films. A Seikonic meter and a Voigtlander VC2 and some spare batteries. I also brought a yellow green filter and red filter to use with my Makina for black and white photos. The beauty of film photography goes beyond just the technicalities. It's the deliberate process of framing each shot, the anticipation of seeing the results, and the satisfactions of knowing that each photo that I take is a unique moment captured forever. So, why did I choose to shoot only film for this entire road trip? It's simple. Film photography allows me to fully immerse myself in the moment, to slow down and appreciate the beauty around me, and to capture the essence of each experience in a way that is truly timeless. And the fact is, I will be able to spend quality time with my wife too. That's what she said. Whether you are a film photography lover or just curious about it, join me as I explore the breathtaking landscape of New Zealand and see the world through the lens of my Hasselblad x and my Kenan 67. Alright, here we go. Finally, we are at the Milford Sound, one of the most beautiful natural wonders of New Zealand's South Island. I arrived here with high expectations of a sunny day, eager to capture the stunning scenery with my Makina 67 and some slide film. But, as fate would have it, the weather had other plans. It was rainy, misty and hazy, but my friends assured me this was actually the best time to visit Milford Sound. They were right. The rain brought hundreds of waterfall to life, creating a truly magical landscape. I boarded the cruise and set out to explore this stunning fjord. So what exactly is Milford Sound and how did it come to be? Milford Sound is a fjord that was formed over millions of years by glacial erosion. The towering peaks, dramatic cliffs and pristine waters that made it one of the most popular tourist destinations in New Zealand. As we cruised through the misty, hazy and watery landscape, I couldn't help but feel a sense of peace and wonder. It was cold, but I was excited about the film shots that I took and not worrying too much about what I have to capture. The rain may have changed my plan, but it only added to the beauties and uniqueness of this special place. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. What a joy we'll be waiting. If you have just started using film, or would like to understand more about film photography, I would like you to check out the link below. I'm offering a free film photography course for everyone who is interested to understand more about different film types and tips about using them. Also, I have another course which is the Lens Inspection Guide, with a complete step-by-step -step checklist for you to understand what kind of problems these lenses would have, so that you know what you are paying for and eventually to help you to save money. Check out my website if you haven't. There are lens reviews, analog film reviews, and different film photography tips to help everyone improve together. Subscribe to the latest updates so that you don't miss out on the next post that I'm going to publish. Next is an alpaca farm. 
I have always been a fan of alpacas, and my last visit was in Tasmania. I was excited to see these adorable animals up close and to capture them on film. Yes, it's quite a challenge to shoot film with moving objects. As soon as we arrived, I was greeted by the friendly alpacas, and I was in love. They were curious, playful, and also photogenic. I had a blast taking photos of photos of these amazing animals, capturing their unique personalities and features on film, and I had some potra and Kodak gold with me. And let me tell you, alpacas are not just cute; they are also incredibly soft and fluffy. This visit to the alpaca farm was truly a highlight of my road trip. Not only did I get to experience the joy of being surrounded by these beautiful creatures, but I also got to spend time playing with them, while taking only a few memorable photos for them. Our next stop on our journey through New Zealand was the photogenic Lake Takapo. I was blown away by the vibrant turquoise color of the water, and I knew I had to spend some time here to truly take it all in. I was so enchanted by the beauty of this place, and I decided to stay for four nights. I took advantage of my time here to explore the area and capture its beauty on film. One of the highlights of my stay at Lake Takapo was the incredible heights to the Hooker Valley. The landscape was breathtaking, and I was amazed by the stunning views. And it took us around three hours return. I took some black and white film shots with my Makina and added a red filter to produce high contrast photos. The results were stunning. The blue skies got darker, and it brings out the essence of the glacial mountains and landscape forms. The beauty of Lake Takapo is truly one of a kind. And I was so grateful to have had the opportunity to capture it on film. This incredible place will always hold a special place in my heart, and the memories I captured will always remind me of this incredible journey. I had some debates with myself, whether I should bring film or digital. Well, shooting with film slows everything down, and allows you to truly enjoy the moment, without trying to taking all the photos with your digital camera. I highly recommend that everyone try shooting with film on their next trip, and experience the world in a different way. For starters, shooting with film slows you down. You can't take hundreds of shots in a matter of minutes like you can with digital. You have to think about each shot, making sure it's just right before you take it. This intentional approach to photography makes you more present in the moment, and allows you to truly appreciate. Your surroundings. If you haven't tried shooting with your film on your travels, I highly recommend it. It may be a bit of a learning curve, but the experience is worth it. You create memories and photos that are truly one of a kind. So pack up your film cameras and hit the road. You won't regret it. Despite its limitations, traveling with film photography is incredibly enjoyable. Each click of the camera. Is a deliberate choice, and every shot is a moment to treasure. I had my first film-only trip back in 2014, and I miss how simple it is. That's why I'm still doing it till now. Film also has a unique look and feel that cannot be replicated with digital. Each film is different, and the choice of film shooting different environment also different. The grain, the color. The contrast, it all adds up to create a look that is truly timeless. And there's something special about having physical negatives of your photos, something you can hold on to and look back on years from now. Film photography helps me step out of my comfort zone, and allows me to shoot from my instincts. I love imagining how a specific film stock will render, the grain, texture, micro contrast, and most importantly, the light. It has taught me to be less focused on the outcome and to be patient. Even if the pictures don't turn out as expected, the moment remains attached in my memory. I remember all the little details from each frame I capture, the time and effort I put into creating each shot.
Imagination plays a big role in my love for film photography. I enjoy predicting the results I will get from different types of film and lenses. This process is constantly on my mind and is a private moment I cherish. Some may think that rewinding the film and advancing each frame takes too much time, but I believe that each moment and split seconds is unique and can only happen once in our universe. Capturing these moments with film and creating a tangible memory is the most direct way of preserving what has happened in a specific time. The choice of film and how I scanned or develop it can reflect my mood at the time. Black and white film is my default preference because I find it easier to attach a mood to the image. Colored images often confuse me and I struggle to achieve the right color tone, combinations and composition to bring out the picture. From the stunning glaciers to the rolling hills, every scene is a work of art waiting to be captured. And with each photo, the memories of the trip become even more precious. Along our journey through the South Island, we also visited the charming towns of Wanaka, Queenstown and Christchurch. Wanaka is a beautiful place known for its stunning views of the lake and mountains. Also, I went there to check out the famous spot called that Wanaka tree. I was so grateful to have had the opportunity to capture it on film and I used a yellow-green filter paired with the Ilford HP5 film. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film in the North Island this time as I got sick after drinking the tap water just like I did last time in Singapore. But despite this setback, my time in the South Island was truly unforgettable I hope you enjoyed this journey with me with my camera. If you'd like to see more of my photography adventures, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website for more photography content. Shooting with film has truly changed the way I approach travel photography and I believe it can do the same for you. But don't be afraid to give it a try. You never know what kind of amazing memories and photos you create. Thank you for watching. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.